I did not expect the peanut sauce, but spicy inside the sofa. Oh, look at the meat. Oh, look at the meat. Oh. Buongiorno, guys. It's Max Sinestra in Jakarta, Indonesia, and today we're going for a street food tour of the city. Andiamo! Well, let's check here, let's check here. Hello. See, this is Asinon Betawi. That's the secret sauce right there. Let's take a look at the kitchen as well. Come, come. Uh, so Asinan is like a pickled salad with veggies. We have cabbage, tahu, bean sprouts, cucumber. This is a place that has been running for generations. It's an institution in Jakarta and I'm uh, really looking forward to try it out. The lady is chopping tofu. This is a nice vegetarian option that I definitely recommend for those who want something lighter and easy to digest. But on the other side, oh, lettuce. Oh, let's go. Oh, the sauce. Ooh. I think there are peanuts in it as well. Ah, the kachan, the book. Oh, nice. But this? Okay. Sediki. <laughs> oh, wow, that's nice. Makasi book. Oh, krupuk. Krupuk, kachan, grow. The crunchy stuff, you know, the nice things. Yellow krupuk. Can you hear the crunch? That's nice. And then the pink one. <laughs> Full color, eh? Can you catch an apple? Oh. We check in other section of the kitchen. Here is where they chop the cabbage. The smell is quite intense. <laughs> it's a big kitchen, actually. Only for two dishes. Bravo porsi per ari. Limarato? between 500 and 1,000, I believe. It depends on the day. They're absolutely a machine. And they sell only two dishes. This is incredible. Oh, wow. They're making a new sauce. It took a chunk. Boom, boom. Oh, wow. OK. Add in a bit of salt. It took chuka, vinegar, and water. Boom. New sauce. Mi apabu. Lula. Lula. Oh. Gula mera. Oh, sugar. So nice. See this lady that been so nice. They said, look, I'm going to make a, a new sauce. Please wait so you can shoot her on camera. Ah, people are just so nice and welcoming. Prima casi bagno, Yes. Our asinan is ready. This lovely salad, I would call it salad, pickled salad, full of veggies, peanuts, two types of krupuk, then we have tofu or cabbage, nice. But the secret is in this sauce, look, with peanuts, vinegar, chili, sounds good to me. Let's go for it. Buon appetito. Mmm. Oh. Nice. Mm. Mm. Okay, it's not spicy straight away. It's just a tiny bit vinegary, a bit sour. The secret is definitely in the sauce because it gives that nice touch that for some reason it makes it addictive. Mm. And I love that the ladies have been so nice with us. They welcomed us with a big smile. The place is getting super packed. They're packing up the takeaway. They only serve actually two dishes. The asinan with the sayur, so with veggies, and the one with fruits. By the way, this is delicious. It's nice. It's a good way to start the day. Now we're going to finish this, and then we're going to the next destination. We are heading towards our second location and we're going for Indonesia's favorite. Hilakan. Basso, andiamo. All right, let's order some basso, basso mala. Sayamao uh, basso tahu. Oh, okay, okay, my can see. Basso tahu, satu. Uh, siomai, basso, pangsi goreng. Okay. Ini? Suburi. Oh, basso goreng. Oh, wow. This, this is huge. It's getting huge. We have some shallots. 
and some spring onion. I think that's it. We're waiting for the secret, obviously the broth. Oh, yes. Makasi. Second location of the day. I think Indonesia's favorite, as I was saying before, Basso. But this is Basso Malan. It's all about all the different varieties of, uh, how do you say, ingredients here. We have the fried basso, fried wonton, we have the steamed ones. This is the basso itself, meatballs. The secret, obviously, is in the broth. And then we have rice cake. Let's break some pieces and put it inside. And we have also a concert, exclusive concert for us today. <laughs> Let's dig in. Oh, I, I don't even know where to start from. The tofu was looking great. Oh, 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 oh. This is paso tofu. Buon appetito. Oh. oh, wow. Oh, the consistency is amazing. So soft. Let's get this one now. Fried wonton. That's pretty salty. A bit moist now, obviously because it's been soaked in the broth. Mm. This is mega pack. This is the siomai. Okay, I want to take one more basso because I think one is not enough. Satulagi like basso. Basso? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, dua. Dua. Enak, eh? <laughs> Makasi. All right, let's go. See how cool is that? You want more? You go there and you get some more. You customize your bowl. It's like uh, if you don't like it, it's your fault. <laughs> it's time for the basso, the meatball. Oh. <laughs> it's all about the consistency. It's kind of kind of mild in flavor. I love the broth. See what I love about Indonesia is that just for one dish only in this case basso they have hundreds of varieties in all over the country like any region or every city has its own variety see this is from malam but they have a uh, basso from literally all over the country finished our lunch it was a fun experience i actually didn't know i didn't really understood how to eat at the very beginning that i started observing the other customers some were eating in a way, some in others. I guess it's about personal preference. It was good to try Basso for the very first time. And now we're waiting for the rain to stop, hopefully soon. And then we go to our third location. We're about to film the prep, well, very quick prep of the Sroto. Here we have Toge. Okay. Krupu, ayam, dagi, sapi. sapi yeah. Okay, that's beef. Sama atiampala. Oh, pala. This is heart and liver. Krupa. Sroto ini dari mana? Sroto itu dari Jawa. Okay, from Jawa. Uh, kota di kota? Banyumas. Banyumas. Oh. Purwokerto. Purwokerto. Yeah. Okay. See, and they serve it with the ketupa, with the Rice cake. Well, you can have it with rice as well, but I love rice cake. Yeah, Papa. Sambal. Sambal. Oh, sambal. Yeah. Oh, sambal oh, wow. Oh, that's, that's new. Oh, inside. In this auto. Kua. Kua. Oh, that's very unique. So they put the broth inside the, inside the sambal. I've never seen anything like that. This sambal is more bright, more bright. Must be a bit peanutty, hot. Quite unique, actually. Terima kasih banyak. Oh, yes, saya bawain. Oh, enggak apa-apa, enggak apa-apa. Terima kasih, Eva. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Boom, tempeh inside. I love tempeh. I'm a huge fan of tempeh, which is the cousin of tofu. I'm sure it's gonna be delicious. Ini panas, eh? <laughs> oh, see, they're getting curled up a little bit. Oh, I think they're ready. Oh yeah, green chill. Timakasi. Oh, our meal is ready. 
Look at what a fish we have here in front of me. In Indonesia, they have so many soto, like hundreds of probably thousands of varieties of different soto, a different one in each province, in each city. This is from Banyuas, Purwokerto, probably central Java, and it's very interesting. So he has Afian Pala, which is heart and liver, beef and chicken. The secret also is in this sambal that I, I have never seen before. So it's spicy, peanutty, and he had the extra broth. Then we also have Tempe Mendoan, that we saw making them before, and we also have Ketupa. I'm hungry, so buon appetito. Oh, oh. Oh that's, oh, that's nice. For some reason, it's a bit spicy. Yeah? I really love the liver inside. He has a really nice sex. And a bang of pepper. Because everything just blended all together very well. I love the crunchiness from the bean sprouts. Let me add some ketupat inside. Some, oh, peanut sambal. And lime. Obviously, you can have a only with the beef, only with chicken. And I want to have the complete version. Oh, this is a big bite. Mm. Oh, I did not expect the oh, peanut sauce, but spicy inside the soto. It gives nice, a unique sweet touch to it. I would have never thought that it would have actually matched. Let's try our tempe mendon. I got some sweet soy sauce here. Let's dip it in. Mm. The green chili, the green chili is hot. The green chili is very spicy. Oh, by the way, tempe mendon is really nice. This is an amazing snack that you can find all over the street. I just wanna say that this soto, I think it's one of the best I ever tried in my Indonesian trip. Really, really, really good. Now for dinner, the moment we all be waiting for. Nasi goreng kambi, nandiam. Any kambi, pa? Oh, wow. Nasi goreng kambi, oh wow, so hot. Oh, look at the chunks of meat, the fat, onion. I've been wanting to come here for a very long time to try their famous nasi goreng kambi with goat meat. And they're famous for making it in uh, huge woks. I guess he's adding a bit of stock. Any uh, Nanas. Nanas? Yeah, nanas. Oh, oh. Nan nanas is pineapple. Oh. Maybe, maybe that's one of the secret ingredients. Pineapple juice inside. Then he closed it to properly cook it. Any chabe? Yeah, chabe. Oh. Chili. <laughs> He mixes it. Uh, this place has been open since 1958, selling one of the best nasi goreng kambin in Jakarta. Oh. Ni bumbunya. Yeah, bumbunya. Mericha, agara. Complete. Complete, yeah. yeah. I'm always fascinated by the art of cooking, the passion that the chef puts into their cooking, into the dishes they make. You get something to learn all the time. This is another key ingredient in the Indonesian cuisine. Pretty much in the majority of the dishes there is some uh, ketchup manis. Getting thicker and thicker. Rice inside. Finally nasi goreng. Now he mixes it. Oh, look at the meat. Oh, look at the meat. Oh, oh man, this will be super flavorful. That's the biggest pot of uh, nasi goreng I've ever seen. Mia, Papa. Papa. That's the grated coconut flesh. Sweet soy sauce. This is getting very interesting. How many ingredients I've never seen in a nasi goreng? <laughs> Well, I guess this is butter. This is becoming the ultimate nasi goreng kambin in Jakarta. 
the illegal one. This requires a lot of uh, a lot of skills, huh? The chef is super strong. He finished it and he's transferring everything onto the other the other wok. I can't wait to get a huge portion of this amazing looking nasi goreng kambi. After watching the prep for over 30 minutes, my mouth is watery. Here is the <laughs> incredibly looking nasi goreng kami. Look at the big chunks of meat. Then obviously, we also have uh, our krupukia, achar, pickles. Let's get a massive bite of it. Oh, buon appetito. Mm. Mm. This is exactly how I, guess, I expected it to taste. Be peppery. You really can taste cumin soy sauce and the meat it's fantastic it's actually not too tender it's a bit chewy so you can really feel it let me add some krupuk i love krupuk and a bit of achar as well and let's get the ultimate bite Ooh. the meat is a bit chewy yeah so don't expect to have a very tender meat like um, can be chicken but it's nice I would say a very interesting nasi gore. I have to be honest, if you're ever in Jakarta, you must come here because you gotta give it a try. Mari. Okay, it was fantastic. Now I need to digest, we go for a walk and the amp. Satu nasi pecel, sama uh, uh, satu nasi rames. Nasi rames. Okay. okay. We came to a local joint to have a traditional Javanese food. Nasi pecel, nasi with a bunch of boiled veggies and a special peanut sauce. Oh, sauce kacang. <laughs> For some crunchy stuff. Tempeh? Tempeh. Tempe. Oh. That's Makasibu. Okay. Oh, so nice. This is Tahu. Tahu? Okay. Oh, bihun. Yep. Potato. Oh, potato. Tempeh? Yeah, tempeh. Uh, uh, kikil? What? Kikil? Yeah. Sama uh, uh, paru. Paru. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, 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 so nice. Terima kasih semua. Let's start our meal with this one. This is nasi rames, which is like nasi shampoo. So you have steamed rice in the middle and a selection of dishes. In this case, we have potato, vermicelli noodles. Then we have some fried corn, tofu, lamb, cow skin, and another type of tempeh, tempeh oreg. Let's go for it. I'm sweating and I'm super hungry. Buon appetito. In a pot. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, wow. The chicken is so good. It's like jelly for some reason. A bit sweet. You got the spiciness from the tempeh and the chewiness from the lamb. That's pretty spicy, yeah? Mm -hmm. So satisfying when you buy it in 12. Moving on. A bit of bihun, potato. Oh, I love nasi champur because you can really try so many dishes and you don't get bored mm. 
Mmm. Who wants? I really love the potato. And then you got the nice bihun. Oh, really love the consistency. And I love the hospitality here. They welcomed us with a big smile, as always. Really, really cool. And then, second dish, we have nasi pecel. She's vegetarian, nasi, so with a bunch of steamed veggies. Of course, the traditional Javanese peanut sauce on top, and that's the key ingredient. Then we have krupuk rempeye. Then we have fried tempeh. This is a dish that I've been looking forward to trying for a very long time. I'm going to use cutlery because there is a quite thick peanut sauce. Let's put a bit of the rupu as well. Buon appetito. Mm. It's so nice. This is really nice. What really makes a difference is definitely the peanut sauce. For some reason, you have a mix of texture. You got crunchiness, obviously from the cookbook, but also from the bean sprouts. You have softness and creaminess from the peanut sauce and the rice. Really, really nice. Prima casi bagna se muo. Ma makanan e na banga nantikita makan lagi ya. Seratus persen. Prima casi. Da. Mari. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next week. Ciao.